10 Blessed Companion Introduction This article is about 10 blessed companions of our holy prophet Muhammad peace be upon him who got the good news of Jannah while they were alive. Four of them became caliphs of the Muslims and six of them became members of the committee formed by Hazrat Umar which had the authority to select the caliph. Two from that committee, Hazrat Usman and Hazrat Ali, became caliphs of the Muslims. Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was a childhood friend of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. From men, he was the first person who embraced Islam on the invitation of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was with our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, during his journey towards Medina. He ought in many battles like Badr, Uhud, and Trench etc. He holds the honor that our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, appointed himself Abu Bakr to lead the Namaz in his life. After the death of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Hazrat Abu Bakr became the first caliph of the Muslims. He sent forces to nip the evil of rebels and false prophethood. He also announced that he will fight against those who will not pay zakat. One of his great achievements was a compilation of the Holy Quran as there were many Hafiz got martyrdom in the battles with the rebels. Hazrat Umar Farooq, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Umar Farooq, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was the second caliph of the Muslims. In his early years, he was an enemy of Islam but Allah Almighty turned his heart towards Islam and he accepted Islam. After accepting Islam he fought in different battles especially in the Battle of Badr he fought very bravely. When he became caliph, the boundaries of the Islamic State expanded a lot and only in his time about 2200000 square miles expanded. He was the caliph who started the social security system and even infants were beneficiaries of this system. It was not only for Muslims but non-Muslims were also beneficiaries of it. Before his death, he formed a committee consist of six members. All were from ten blessed companions. He asked them to choose the new caliph. After the decision of the committee, Hazrat Usman was nominated as caliph. Hazrat Usman, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Usman, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was the third caliph of Muslims. He became caliph after Hazrat Umar. He got married with two daughters of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, after one another. It is because he is called Zunurain, the man with two lights. He was from a very rich family as he purchased a well after paying a heavy amount of money and then made it possible for everyone to use the water of this well. He is the person who did two migrations. First towards Abyssinia and second towards the Medina. He was famous for his decency. Once our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that even angels regard his decency. One of his great achievements was a compilation of the Holy Quran. The compilation had been done in the time of Hazrat Abu Bakr, but he prepared the authentic copies of the Holy Quran and sent it to the different parts of the Islamic State. One another initiative of Hazrat Usman was to form the first Muslim Navy force. He got martyrdom in his home while he was reciting the Holy Quran. Hazrat Ali, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Ali was the first child who embraced Islam. Since his childhood, our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was his guardian. When our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, called people towards Allah and Islam, nobody accepted his message except Hazrat Ali who was just a child. When our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, migrated to Medina, it was Hazrat Ali who slept on his bed. He returned some things to the owners who made our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, trusty in their matters. In Medina, he took part in different battles especially in the Battle of Badr he fought very bravely. In the Battle of Khyber, he conquered the fort of Khyber and killed the Marhab who was the commander of the Jews. He was a principal advisor for all three caliphs who served before him. Because of his knowledge, our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, appointed him as Qazi, Justice, of Yemen when he was just twenty. He was the fourth caliph of Muslims. He got martyrdom on 21st Ramadan 40 Hijri when he was going to lead the Fajr prayer. After his martyrdom, Hazrat Hassan became caliph for a few months. Hazrat Abu Ubaidah bin Jara, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Abu Ubaidah bin Jara, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, 
was one of those companions who were very close to our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as once our holy prophet said that in every nation there is a man worthy of all the trusts and the trustworthy of this nation is Abu Ubaidah bin Jarrah. He accepted Islam at the hands of Hazrat Abu Bakr. He was included in those people who migrated to Abyssinia and then, after second migration, took part in different battles along with our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. In these battles, there are Badr and Uhud and many other battles are included. He fought bravely in these battles especially in the Battle of Uhud. In the Battle of Uhud, he tried his best to save our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as it was the objective of non-believers to target him. In the time of Hazrat Umar, he was appointed as commander of the Muslim army after Hazrat Khalid bin Walid. Once Hazrat Umar met Abu Ubaidah at his house and said after the death of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we all changed, but you are still like before. Hazrat Abu Ubaidah passed away at the age of 58. Hazrat Abdur Rahman bin Auf, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Abdur Rahman bin Auf, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was also from a very rich family. H accepted Islam on the invitation of Hazrat Abu Bakr. He is from those companions of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who embraced Islam at its initial phase. He was very wealthy and famous for his generosity. He was very close to our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Hazrat Umar. When Hazrat Umar formed a committee of six persons from the ten blessed companions to elect new caliph, he asked them to go with the decision supported by Hazrat Abdur Rahman bin Auf. After his death, his airships consisted of different bricks of gold and silver and about 1,000 camels and 100 horses. He died in 35 Hijri. Hazrat Saad bin Abi Waqqas, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Saad bin Abi Waqqas, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was from the family of our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He also embraced Islam at its initial phase. He also took part in different battles like in the Battle of Badr and Battle of Uhud etc. In the time of Caliphate, he was appointed as commander of the Muslim army in Iraq as well. He used to love the Ansar, the old residents of Medina before the migration of Muslims to Medina. He was the last from ten blessed companions who passed away at the age of 80 near Medina. Hazrat Talha bin Abedullah, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Talha bin Abedullah, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was also from a very rich family. He was also known for his generosity. He was also a member of the committee formed by Hazrat Umar for the selection of a new caliph. Hazrat Abu Bakr asked him to go to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and accept Islam. He acted on his advice and embraced Islam. After accepting Islam, his own tribe went against him and tortured him. He and Hazrat Abu Bakr were tortured at the same place and same time. It is because he was close to Hazrat Abu Bakr as well. Sometimes he gave 400,000 dirhams in charity in one day. Once our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said if someone wants to see a martyr walking on earth, he should see Talha. He was a good host as well. Once our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that who would like to be host of these three new Muslim people? Hazrat Talha accepted it and those three people lived with them till their death. By nature, Hazrat Talha was a very nice and ever smiling personality. He was soft-hearted and polite while dealt with anybody. He fought with different battles with our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, especially in the Battle of Uhud. He was injured in a war and got martyrdom because of this injury. Hazrat Zubar bin Al-Awam, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Zubar bin Al-Awam, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was also from the six members of the committee formed for the selection of the caliph. He was also from a rich family and a generous person too. He was in those companions of our holy prophet who did two migrations. First towards Abyssinia and second towards Medina. In Mecca, Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood became his brother and in Medina Hazrat Salma bin Salama became his brother when our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, established brotherhood between Muhajirin and Ansar. He was so brave since childhood. Once he heard a rumor that non-believers have arrested our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He went into the crowd with a naked sword and reached to our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
After seeing him Hazrat Zubair got satisfaction. He was interested in farming and started farming in Medina. He fought in different battles especially in the Battle of Badar he fought very bravely. In the Battle of Jamal, he made himself apart from both the sides and went away from the battle. One person followed him and in the Namaz, attack on him. He got martyred in this attack. Hazrat Said bin Zaid, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Said bin Zaid, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, was brother-in-law of Hazrat Umar. He had embraced Islam before Hazrat Umar. Once he said that he was tortured by Hazrat Umar to leave Islam but he always refused. Hazrat Umar visited his house and listened to some ayat of the Holy Quran which converted his heart towards Islam. He is also one of them who accepted Islam at its initial phase. He fought in different battles but could not take part in the Battle of Badar as he was performing a duty assigned by our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, out of Medina. When he came back to Medina, the Battle of the Badar had been started. Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, announced that he is like those who took part in the Battle of Badar. He passed away near Medina in 51 Hydri at the age of 70.